Whether you're a photographer or a model, at some point you've asked yourself, what clothes should I bring to this photo shoot? That's because styling is essential to photography. And in this video, we're gonna show you three tips for how to style yourself for photos. Hey guys, I'm Tajreen from Tajreen & Co. and we're partnering with Filtergrade to bring you another photography tutorial. Now, we're not fashion experts, but as photographers, we've learned just how important styling is to telling better stories. But styling for photos isn't really the same as styling for real life. So to show you examples, we hit up our local Goodwill and TJ Maxx as well as our own closets to teach you some styling basics for women and men. The most important thing about styling for photography is context. Are you styling to blend into your environment or are you styling to stand out? For most lifestyle photography, you want to style your models to blend in, whether that's wearing outdoorsy clothes for nature or pastels or bright colors to match the setting. In fashion photography, you typically want to stand out, often wearing crazier clothes or taking bigger risks to be more memorable. Whatever you're shooting, styling your models just like posing and editing is one more way to catch the viewer's eye. Which brings us to tip number one. Always go for interesting over pretty. Sure, you might look good in that skirt or dress or basic black shirt, but is it interesting? Does it help you tell a story? As photographers, we don't chase what's cute or pretty or even flattering. Instead, we go for lived-in versatile basics that puts the focus on the model, or we find outfits that are just weird, cool, and tell a story themselves. I picked up this denim jacket from Goodwill, which is a simple and versatile layer, and I also found this casual day dress. To compare, here's a similar dress I have at home that's pretty but not interesting. And here's a simpler, much more lived-in look that'll be way better for photos. For our friend David, we tossed the cool guy jacket in favor of more casual layers that capture a much more relaxed vibe. Tip 2. Be intentional about colors and prints. Straight off the bat, avoid stripes for photography. They're distracting and just generally hard to pull off. Also be cautious with tiny or bright prints. Smaller prints can get lost or seem busy or noisy in still images. Instead, we stick to solid colors and visible prints and we favor neutrals with pops of color. Just be aware of the color tones in your outfits. We tend to pair neutrals with neutrals and brights with brights. Here's a bright and distracting dress that I like, but I'd avoid wearing in photos. Whereas this one is more unusual and neutral and doesn't steal the viewer's eye from the subject. But don't be afraid to take risks. Try out different colors and bigger, more visible prints and you might be surprised. For David, we traded this plain brown sweater for some great tops with interesting textures and prints that look both casual and cool. Tip 3. Consider movement and shape. Think of styling as an extension of posing. If your model can't move in their outfit, their posing will probably be awkward and limited. Similarly, if the outfit doesn't create any interesting shapes, the photos won't be as interesting. So pay attention to the shapes your clothing creates and play with layers and draping for more interesting results. Layers also have the added benefit of giving your subject something to play with, which can give you a bigger variety of shots. You can also create better shapes with clothes you already have by wearing them a little differently. Buttoning up the shirt and giving it the old French tuck totally changes the vibe of the outfit. For guys, this is crucial. Men tend to wear oversized tops and going from a too big t-shirt to a perfect fit makes a huge difference. The easiest way to tell if you're wearing the wrong size is by lifting your arms and checking for extra fabric on your sides and underarms. Here, David tried the smaller size in this hoodie and it created a way better shape for photos. So we gave these outfits a test drive to show you how simple and easy it is to incorporate better styling into your photography. But remember, all rules in art are meant to be broken, so experiment, play around, and just have fun with it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to Filtergrade. You can also follow us on our channel, Tajreen & Co., for more photography tutorials.